Welcome back to our SA 300 celebration. I'm Ursula Perry atop the Tower of the Americas, where the party is going on below me and outside, bitterly cold, just beyond the observation deck. It is frigid out there. But meantime, we're up here in the Tower of the Americas, ready to have a party with you. You have to ask yourself, why is it that we are celebrating our 300th anniversary of being a city? Why not further beyond that? Well, it's because 300 years ago, Canary Islanders came to the San Antonio area and actually formed our city, officially creating the government of San Antonio. It's an interesting story. Here's how it happened. Blame the King of Spain's need to build a new empire in the New World. Back in the early 1700s, he was worried that the King of France would push soldiers west from Louisiana into his Nueva España. To get squatters rights, so to speak, the Spanish King asked for volunteers in the Canary Islands to make a trek and create a city. Sixteen families left Santa Cruz, Tenerife in March of 1730. It's not till 1731 that Spain then says, we want a town. We're going to start a town, an actual civic settlement. Father David Garcia says the church was priority one for the king. It starts off with the king of Spain who gave like 5,000 pesos, and then it comes down to the governor who gave like 100, and then it comes down, and then maybe the priest gave 10 pesos. Those few resources would build the cornerstone to not only the city of San Antonio, but the center of New Spain by which maps of Texas would be drawn for decades. And the main plaza that surrounds it is almost a picture-perfect duplicate of what you would find in the Canary Islands and, frankly, most Spanish colonial cities in the world. 1980, um, they completely uh, renovated it. Anthony Delgado is a Canary Island historian for the San Antonio Canary Island Descendants Association. To find the San Fernando his ancestors created, you don't go to the front of the church, but rather to the back, facing City Hall. He and others are hoping this tricentennial year will bring light to the story, showing the importance of those years 300 years ago. Now, there is a movement underway to bring the story of the Canary Islanders into Texas classrooms and San Antonio classrooms. And we're going to be hearing a lot more about that in the coming year, of course, our tricentennial year.